Welcome to CAD Jungle. Today we're going to be basically constructing a bolt inside of Fusion 360. And again, there's no real correct way or wrong way to do it. The way I like to describe it is it's either simple or it's complicated. It all depends on you know the techniques you want to use. But anyway, the technique I'm going to use is going to be fairly simple. And it could take you less than three minutes to actually create this bolt. Without further ado, let's step right in. All right, we're going to create a new project first of all. We're going to start a sketch and we're going to put it on the top plane. All right. So efficiency wise, we could do this by making three sketches, but I'm going to basically condense it down to two. So this is how I'm going to do it. So first of all, we're going to start out with a circle, center circle. I'm going to give it 11 meter dimension and it's fully constrained. All right. Now for the hex, because this is actually going to be for the bottom, and I will get to that in a sec. But for the head, we need to create that actual hex look. So we're going to come out here with a circumscribed polygon. We're going to make this larger than the actual circle. I'm going to actually set it up about right there. We're going to make this about 19 millimeters. Actually, what we really want to do is, because it's going to be a little bit too large, what we really want to do is actually dimension two parallel sides to get those to be 19 millimeters. So this is what we're going to do. Actually, I want to take off that dimension first. We're going to make this 19 millimeters. There we go. All right. Always keep in mind, if you make a mistake, you can always go back and correct it. It's not going to always be perfect, so just be ready for that. All right. Now that we have that, what we want to do is make sure we constrain this, and this is basically going to be vertical. These two parallel lines on the side are going to be vertical. So we're going to go to constraints here, horizontal and vertical. We're going to click one side, this side, and now it's fully constrained. All right. So what do we want to do next? What we want to do is we want to extrude both of these profiles, okay? I'm going to go ahead and give it a 7.1 millimeter thickness, all right? We can either finish the sketch, or we can just hit the E key, which will basically take us, take us into the extrude function, all right? So for the sake of argument, let's go ahead and hit the E key, which takes us out of our sketch. And what we'll do is we select these two profiles, and we'll extrude. We'll make this 7.1 millimeters. Okay. Now what we want to do is also turn that sketch back on. Because we're going to go back and exclude this bottom face in a second. But what we need to do first, I'll go ahead and turn it off, is create a sketch on the top plane of the face of the hex bolt. All right. And this is the top of the head. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to create this arch right here. Okay, this, these rounded edges basically. All right, and this is how we're going to do that. So when I come up, we're going to get a center face and circle, a center point circle, excuse me. We're going to drag it all the way to the edge. And if you see that triangle right there, that means you basically hit the center point of this edge. Click on that, makes it also fully constrained. Okay, now what we want to do, we're going to go ahead and finish sketch. Now this circle right here, we're going to also exclude it. So we'll click on the uh, profile. Hit the E key, we're going to extrude it. We're going to bring it down. Okay, so it's negative, right? All right, we want the angle to be 45 degrees, the taper angle, which is basically going to give you the rounded curves at the top. Okay, now, we want the distance to go to all. Okay, all right? We don't want it to cut, we want it to intersect. All right, and it brings it down. And now you got your arch edges. We're gonna hit okay. All right, that portion's done. Now what we wanna do now is click on the first sketch and make it visible, like so. Click on this profile, we're gonna exclude it. I'm gonna give it a distance of about negative 40 millimeters.
and click OK. And then we can turn that sketch off. All right. As you can see, we're getting really close to being done. We've got three more things we need to do. First, we want to chamfer this edge and give it about a 0.5 millimeter chamfer. Click OK. This edge here, we're going to give it a 0.5 millimeter fillet as well. Click OK. All right, it's coming together nicely. Last but not least, we need to add the threads. And Fusion 360 makes this fairly easy. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to go up here to the Create menu. Go down to Thread. And now we need to click on the faces, which is going to be pretty easy because it's just a cylinder. Click on the cylinder. Now, you have the option to either make it model or just basically have an image of threads. We want to model it. Looks a lot better that way. If your computer can't handle it, then you probably don't want to do this, but for the most part, that's what we're going to do here. Once you click model, it gives you that impression, hey, look, this is exactly modeled the way we want it to be. No kidding threads. All right. Now, before we go any further, let's take a look at this for a second. We can either make this full length, the full length of the boat, or we can shorten it. So basically, I don't want it to be the full length. I can drag this up as far as I want it to go. However, for this boat, we're just going to make it the full length, so it's not necessary. Click OK. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, here is your boat. Fairly simple, didn't take too much time. And I hope you liked this uh, video. Stay tuned for more tutorials as I come out with them on a weekly basis. I'll try to make sure that they're simple and straight and to the point. As things get more and more complicated, I'll take my time and probably piece videos together. But until then, thank you for watching. Click subscribe and like the video. Thank you very much.